That's why you're in the house. Mm -hmm. And see, they want to hurt your feelings. Let them go. Don't talk. Don't, don't talk for a long time. And, and so, sometimes they just want me like, like that. It either be a, a too long with me, I got not long enough. You know, I'm talking long enough that they can make it funny. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I just be too tired. So, in case I be too tired. Mm -hmm. So, anyway. <laughs> uh, it, it says here. Uh, June and Monica had been chosen by King Xerxes to be elevated to the position of queen of his kingdom. Uh -huh. She was taken into the king's harem as a young man, and I feel sure that this was not the plan she had for her life. She planned to save her, be the one, sacrifice to save her people. She said, if I perish, I perish, if I die, I die. Uh -huh. So sometimes I take that truth. Uh -huh. Um, don't go on to see the king. There's a song that if I perish, let me perish. Lord, I'm going on to see the king. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do what I need to do. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you got to stand up to bullies and to people. Mm -hmm. Say, well, you know, they can probably take you out, take you up. But you're going to stand to them anyway. And when you do it, that, you got somebody bigger than that bully yes. behind you. Mm -hmm. Case in point, we was talking to my mom, on student now. Uh, the, the wrestling, the fights, mm -hmm. and, um, Lesnar, Brock Lesnar, and then the uh, mother man so much smaller. Way and smaller. Lesnar has just gotten through bragging. My son said, uh -huh. "I'm bigger than him. This is he uh -huh. must be strong uh -huh. all this. He's so sure that he's gonna beat that man. Uh -huh. Man, she reminded the first round. Sure did. Uh -huh. And I said, "Good for Lesnar. <laughs> <laughs> like like always bragging. Thank you so much." And so, he's going to pull the audience. He's pulled the audience. Uh -huh. See, y'all already did. So, I like you in the past. Yeah, I, I, I'm from the underdog. Yeah. Always have, that person who always up, up bragging how this and that, I've been warning the other person to tear him up. Uh -huh. So, in this case, he got chosen the first round. Uh -huh. And I told Bishop, and I said, in Christendom, I, I said, that's like a, a hint, uh -huh. an indication to us. The one who everybody put up on top. Don't worry about that. Uh -huh. The one who underneath it, nobody think nothing about, that's who God gonna bring to the top. Mm -hmm. You said the first gonna be last, and last gonna be first. Uh -huh. So I thank God. Let's look around us. God gives an indication of what's going on just by the things that go on around us right. every day. Mm -hmm. So I thank God for that. She went to the king, told him about what him was, what him was trying to do. Mm -hmm. Hammond began to plead for his life, begging him. The king had walked back in. He thought she, somebody said he thought she was trying, he was trying to rape him. Anyway, uh, the king found out that was a bad, terrible day for Hammond. So when somebody's against you and putting on, pretending like they for you, you don't have to worry about it. Sometimes people will come tell you, they always lay me in your face, they don't like you. No. So, don't go get at them. Mm -hmm. Someone will say you don't like me. What's your going to come? Mm -hmm. Don't say nothing to them. The people of them. Right. God, God ain't made nobody take advantage of you. Mm -hmm. So, Esther, it was on God's side. The question is asked today, whose side is going? Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it needs to be on God's side in this building. But when we walk outside of this building and to the world, we have to be around all kinds of people. Mm -hmm. Last night, last year. Um, what's the name? The name of my child Perry. Uh -huh. Making movies. Gave testimony. What horrible things he went through. We had men had raped him, little boy. And then one woman had done it. His daddy, the only daddy, blood daddy, beat him all the time. He was beat mercifully. He was beating him. Uh -huh. For no reason, he beat him. Uh -huh. And he stopped crying. I saw an exit from him, open way for sure. So I started crying. He started crying. Taking his bed got it man got mansion, loaded with money. Taking his kid is the only bed would beat him so bad. And they reported that he back back him that his dad said, um, maybe I should beat him a little bit more. If I beat him more if I beat him more time, you you'll be I'll, I'll be only I'll be thanking that boy. Mm -hmm for taking him in and, and, uh, and, and apologizing him mm -hmm. for how bad he treated And so sometimes I would think about that it makes you want to just tell him off. You know, people, people that take advantage of, of Christians, they know you're Christian. Right. But mm -hmm. I said, Lord, is it all right? Sometimes I said, if I was him, 
I said, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. and, the, the, and the term the means the same as Negro. Mm -hmm. yeah, if you know how, I, I have to take you in. Uh -huh. You don't respect me now. Uh -huh. he, I mean, being bigger than the boy that you mean, he's still bigger. I don't prove of that. Mm -hmm. And so, so, you know, a lot of times, you want to take Nazarene on here? And it's times I did that. And I, I was glad I did. It felt good that night. Yeah. You don't, we don't always follow your feeling. You can feel good about something. You can feel good, but that does not mean that God wants you to do it. Uh -huh. I said, God, help me. Because a lot of times I get angry about something, I let that person know that after this, in his behalf, you, you know, your son, they have to take you in. Right. You read about a rhyme a little nice love. You, you ought to be thanking God for that boy taking you in. And say, even now, you told me to say, put his chair outside your door. Uh -huh. Thank you. Really living that when his dad used to be. And I said, Lord, busy the other night. He's going to beat the mess out of dad. <laughs> no, he, could, he, could, he could, I guess, if he wants to. Mm -hmm. But God had to be in that man's, that young man's life. It takes God. It takes God not to take matters into your own hand. Mm -hmm. It takes God. When my son was talking, it took God. Because we know who did my other son. He didn't tell you that, but my other son made it done the way he said when they accused him of and, and God gave him the favor into them. Uh -huh. They're like Esther, gave him favor and then she said, man, woman looked at him and said, you didn't do this. Uh -huh. Just by looking at me, how nice the amount of he was. Uh -huh. You know, John might go too. He just, <laughs> so, he, he just different. Uh -huh. he, he don't do little things. So they, they described something, the scripture of what they say boy did, which went real serious, but I said, that's Jonathan, not to not to And I love both of them, but I just know one from another. I knew that he didn't. And so my son said, Mom, you can't handle, handle the truth. Like this man cop up and put a piece of sand in the mood. <laughs> I said, I can't handle it. I'm grabbing the car. I'm talking to me now. I'm, I'm on a cell phone. That, that's against the law. I said, I can't handle it. All the things that went through, he told me, he told me I can't handle it. Yeah. It's, well, I'm not going to be like the usual chick. Ask them if they've been living with me. So if they was a family on the street. <laughs> but I think, praise God, how he delivers us, us all, just like he delivers Esther uh -huh. and her whole family. He, he would do it for us. Yes, and that king, you don't know that, I got very angry, angry with Haman. All this time, been putting that on pretend, on for worshiping by him. Uh -huh. You know, I thank God. He works things out in our behalf. Uh -huh. We have to know all of us in here that we have faith of God. But I have to say it all the time. Uh -huh. I have the faith of God. My children have the faith of God, and my grandchildren have the faith of God. Everywhere I go, I have the faith of God. And I, I guess I gave this testimony. And one way I know I have the faith of God. I have a two thousand three hundred in some art three hundred. Two thousand three three hundred is some dark and some sick, big up medical bill. And God canceled the whole thing. I believe I said it, said it before when I was here. He canceled it. But I tell people this. He canceled the whole thing. Uh -huh. And I used to hear about debt cancellation. Harry Crumble Dog was talking about it just last week about debt cancellation. I think I'm one of them. I'm a witness that one I'm one of them that he canceled the debt. Uh -huh. So I thank God. God does that for a specific people to let them know that you know he's with you. Uh -huh. So when you're child, you're going so much he'll do for you. So I've been tired all my life. Ever since I learned learned about tasks, ever since I learned about tasks, I, I think and praise God. He does. If we want to live a victorious life down here on earth, you can't, you won't go to hell. Right. We're not here. But if we want to live a victorious down here. Uh -huh. That's what I do. I don't want to be that suffering from day to day. God showed you so much favor. So I thank God for the favor he showed me. God showed me so much faith, I can't tell it all. But I thank, I thank God for it. Um, and I take again with with that was Esther takes God's side. Whose side would you take? Pray my strength in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Amen.